Hey everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. It's been a few weeks since I've actually uploaded a video, but here what I've got is I did a, a nice harvest uh, last night uh, because I have tons of my jalapeno peppers are growing really well, uh, which I'm quite impressed with. And what I'm going to do is I'm making something that's called cowboy candy, or better known as candied jalapenos. So I'm going to save these babies and uh, preserve them uh, in, a, in a brine that's more of a sweet brine, which you can top uh, on top of uh, cream cheese, which is great with crackers and so forth, or even on hamburgers, hot dogs, or whatever. So I'm going to make that and hopefully uh, some more preserves today, uh, like salsa and so forth, but I'm going to get you going on this. done here is I've got myself one uh, pint, 500 ml, uh, jars uh, mason jars and what I'm doing now is I'm boiling some water to sterilize these I've cleaned them uh, they're brand new uh, I actually picked them up at work <laughs> and uh, they're brand new but you still need to wash them get some of the grease and gunk off of them from uh, being in the warehouse or whatever or even standing on uh, in the aisles so I wash them with a mild uh, detergent and uh, soap uh, dish soap and then I'm going to um, sterilize these for about I'm going to boil them for about five minutes so they're nice and sterile make sure everything's nice and clean so as you can see I've got a nice basket of uh, jalapenos this is uh, just slightly over a pound and what you're going to need is you're going to need to cut and slice these nice little uh, jalapenos into uh, rounds and you're going to use them pulp seeds and all okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start slicing these and get them ready uh, for for cooking and heating up so as you can see uh, these are uh, nicely rinsed and clean so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop up these jalapenos like if you want you can use uh, gloves or whatever but I'm just going to cut them up into nice little slices And get them ready for uh, for cooking uh, in the syrup. So now what I'm going to do uh, is while I've uh, while I'm slicing the uh, the jalapenos, I'm going to actually uh, start the the brine that you're going to be using for this recipe, and it consists of. Uh, a nice combination of uh, sugar, apple cider vinegar, garlic powder, celery seed, and turmeric, and a little bit of red pepper flake. But I'll show you as I go. So to a nice sturdy pot, I'm adding two cups of, sh of white sugar. Okay. Two cups of white sugar. I'm also going to be adding two-thirds of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay, so there's two-thirds of a cup. It seems like a lot, but the sugar does does break down and it, and it creates a syrup. So that's basically what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my stove and get that going. I'm also going to add a full teaspoon I can't find my full teaspoon, so I'm adding a full teaspoon of garlic powder. That's one teaspoon, because this is a half teaspoon that I've got. I'm also adding a teaspoon of celery seed. And oh, I love celery seed. So I'll do two here. Okay, so that's one full teaspoon. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric. And a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And this, of course, are my red pepper flakes from my garden, my cayenne peppers from last year. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil, let it simmer for a bit, and let all the 
spices marry and get it all nice and melted, melted and so forth. And then uh, I'll bring you back to continue on. Okay, so my brine has been simmering for about five minutes and my sugar has all melted. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all my sliced jalapenos to the brine and I'll cook this and simmer it for another five minutes. You can see I'm just giving them a little bit of a stir. Turn up my heat a little bit so that it comes back up to a simmer. And like I said, I'm going to simmer this for about, oh, about five minutes. And while that's simmering, I can sterilize my jars. Okay, so this has been boiling, uh, like simmering for about five minutes now. So I've taken it off the heat and I'm going to wait until uh, my uh, jars have cooled a little bit before I actually uh, add them to my, uh, to my sterilized jars. Okay, so now my jars are nice and cooled and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour equal amounts in each jar. My uh, bath water is coming up to temperature. Now, I don't have all these fancy tools that uh, uh, a lot of canners have. Uh, I just wasn't preserving enough uh, at the time, but uh, pretty soon I'll be uh, adding more, um, more to my repertoire uh, for canning, and uh, I'm just going to do my best. And, but you need to be very careful not to pour any of this on you. Okay, so I filled up one of my pints and what I'm doing is I'm just removing some of the liquid just to give it a little bit of a headroom. You want about a quarter of an inch of headroom. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the lid on. The first one, tighten it down by hand, give it a bit of a wipe. So I'm wiping down everything. And there we go. So now I'm going to add this to my hot water bath. Okay, just fresh out of the hot water bath. And now I'm going to let this uh, cool for up to about 12 hours before I actually put it away. Because I want the lid, the lid right now you can see is popped out. And the water bath, what it'll do is it'll seal it. So this should get sucked in, the, the lid and top. And as it cools, it uh, should... Uh, you should hear a popping sound, so that means that it's a, a nice tight seal. So this particular recipe uh, actually does make one, just a little bit over one pint, and that's uh, with one pound. So I guess every one pound, one and a half pounds of jalapenos, you would uh, you would uh, make uh, one pint. So uh, that's what this recipe is is all about. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this and go out and try this. It's actually quite an interesting, it is spicy, I'll give you that. You, fair warning, but it is so good if you like spice.